what's going on YouTube it's Mr. Best Kept Secret and honestly I just really need to make this video this is concerning the massive firings that have happened in the NFL after this season or sorry after this regular season because the playoffs are going to be happening and a bunch of the teams that have not made the playoffs have fired their coaches some I can understand such as Jim Schwartz and Mike Shanahan because Jim Schwartz Oh, pretty much he brought his team to the playoffs last year, I do believe, and they were they had a really good roster. Like they have a very good team, and I don't know what what happened with that roster, but Jim Schwartz just couldn't make it, couldn't get it done, and uh, couldn't make it happen. And Mike Shanahan, I also believe, because of the same reason, but also part of that blame should go on Robert Griffin the third. But since he's a second year quarterback, Daniel Snyder wants to roll with him, and the coach usually takes the blame before the quarterback. So those two, I understand. But the ones that I don't, un or sorry, and also Leslie Frazier. Leslie Frazier, in my mind, he's a better coordinator than he is a head coach. And he's a better, uh, if he had a better offensive coordinator, uh, such as Bill Musgrave, he would have had a, he would have also probably been a lot more successful. Also, they should have used Josh Freeman a lot more, but that's just my personal opinion. But, um, yeah, so those three firings, I, I can completely understand. Ones that I can't understand, the rookie head coaches. Like, Rob Chudzinski. Why? Like, this isn't just some girlfriend that you can just th throw out of the fucking... Throw out of your organization in a year. You can't do that. Like, it's... it was He only had one year. Like, this is... Fa like, it's fathoming to me. Like, it's... It, I don't understand how the Cleveland Browns can just rotate these coaches. Like, you're never going to have a bunch of players play in the same system. You're never... You're, all these players are not going to want to come to Cleveland and play for the coach because they know he's probably going to get fired anyways. And no one would want to go to the organization. Like, they have... Rob Chudzinski won games with Jason Campbell, Brian Hoyer, and Brandon Whedon. That's... Like, I, I, <laughs> their defense was good, and they had that type of quarterback situation. I... I don't. I honestly, I can't understand why. Um, and I believe there was uh, another coach that was fired. Um, Greg Schiano. Yes, here we go. They, uh, the Bucks fired Greg Schiano and uh, GM Mark Dominic. Um, I think that was just because of uh, Schiano's attitude. I, I, I can understand that firing, but I don't really. But I can't at the same time. They didn't really do that well this year. And as you see in the background, this. Uh, this, uh, just NFL.com, I got thrown up as well as my channel link up in the top left as well. Um, so yeah. And also, uh, this is basically just like an NFL rant video. And so someone who I was surprised wasn't fired, Jason Garrett. But I don't think, he, I think that Jerry Jones likes him way too much and that, uh, he should not be fired anyways. But... I think Jason Garrett is a perfect, another perfect example of a person who is a better coordinator than they are a head coach, which uh, is kind of sad to say, but that's just what happens. And so some people that I think could be uh, replacing some of these coaches um, in Washington, I think Ken Wisenhunt could do a pretty good job in Washington. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, if you guys, uh, what you, what do you guys think about that? Write that in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, give it a like. I know it's... Uh, just going through NFL.com, but it's more about the content and what's being said rather than the uh, rather than the visual. Um, I just wanted to, so that you guys could see something rather than uh, just see a screen with my logo on it, and uh, just a bunch of uh, other coaches that I could see moving around is one that could that could uh, really help out Cleveland. I think would be Lovey Smith. I think he'd be a great hire for either the Cleveland Browns or the Minnesota Vikings. If, if Minnesota were to hire Lovey Smith, that would give him so much more motivation to win against Chicago that uh, I think he'd be, I think the divisional battles between Chicago and Minnesota would get pretty heated. So, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. You guys can, you guys know, you guys can always write your opinions in the comment section down below and, you know, like the video, all that cool stuff. And uh, a guy who I could see replacing Greg Schiano would actually be, uh, sorry, I got to Gonna rock my brain here. A guy who I could see replacing Greg Schiano in Tampa would actually be Josh McDaniels. He's an offensive coach. Um, they have a very solid defense with uh, Jabril Rivas. The defense can kind of just take care of itself there. But with Mike Glennon, he's got a strong arm. He's a big kid, and I think he could. Uh, 
I think he could uh, end up making some big waves there. So, also another huge uh, decision was Rex Ryan being retained by the Jets. Um, honestly, I I think that uh, like it was there was a thing said on Twitter the other day by uh, Straight Out of Boston. He said uh, that the only reason why Rex Ryan wasn't fired was because Woody Johnson doesn't want to pay two coaches, which I can completely agree with. But I think Rex Ryan actually did a pretty good job this year. So I think he bought himself some time. I think that Rex Ryan, since he uh, he went, I believe he went 8-8. Eight and eight, And that was with a rookie quarterback who tossed 21 or 22 interceptions. Like, that's insane. Geno Smith has got to pick that up next year. And uh, Mark Sanchez is probably done in the NFL. I honestly, I honestly couldn't stand the guy even when he was a rookie. He had a worse rookie year than Tim Couch. So that kind of speaks for itself. And uh, also, just a recap of other stuff uh such as Peyton Manning sending the passing mark and uh I thought that was absolutely insane he's a great talent a great quarterback and I think that they could go far into the playoffs it all just depends on how that defense is going to hold up because everyone knows that offense can score but once you start scoring consistently on that uh on that defense then that's going to be pretty difficult so also other people who I could see taking the Minnesota coaching job would be Levy Smith, who I already mentioned. Um, another guy I could see taking that job would actually be co- taking a coach out of retirement, which Bill Cowher is, has insinuated that he wants to get back into coaching football, possibly. So it would have to be the right situation for him. But if he goes to Minnesota, that would be insane. Um, I honestly don't think it's going to happen. I think it's a pipe dream, but I think he's going to either go back to, uh, he's either going to go, go into the AFC North with the Cleveland Browns, or he is going to, uh, I think he might go to Tampa Bay as well. You never know. But, uh, I think that this off season, you're going to hear a lot about coaches that you haven't really heard before. There's going to be a lot of coaches that are going to, that their names are going to be tossed around that you're going to be like, what, who kind of like the Doug Marones of the world. Um, I think that a couple college coaches are going to be hired again, even though Greg Schiano didn't really prove that college coaches can work very successfully. But Chip Kelly proved the exact opposite with taking the Eagles and Nick Foles, a quarterback who wasn't really even talked about a lot this year as possibly starting for the Eagles, uh, as break, taking them to the playoffs and having one of the most potent offenses in the league. So, you know, you have to, uh, they had, did have one hiccup against the Vikings, but Really, the, every team. I, my philosophy is that every team always has that one game where they just fall apart, and I don't know why it is. I don't know how it happens, but you always have that one game. Sometimes you can win that game. Sometimes you lose it, but that's just my personal opinion. And now we're gonna take a look at the playoff picture as soon as I find it up here. Um, just going down here. Here we go, the playoff schedule. Alright, so in the first round, the Kansas City Chiefs host the Indianapolis Colts. And the San Diego Chargers, or sorry, the Colts host the Chiefs and the Bengals host the Chargers. I think San Diego is going to be a dangerous team in the playoffs. Phillip Rivers is playing very well. He's uh, he's completing, I believe he's completing around 70% of his passes, which... Hats off to her, to rookie head coach Mike McCoy. He has done a great job in San Diego from taking them from from, from being pretty much like a, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really know what to call San Diego. They were like a tweener team. They were a team that you weren't sure could pull off a win or you're not sure. But, like, they're dangerous in the playoffs now. They've beaten three out of the five teams in the dance. So that just makes them even more dangerous. And I think it's I think it's going to be a really good, uh, really good, uh, run for San Diego this year. They also did get the Philly, uh, whoever plays Philly at home, I believe, wins the Super Bowl or something like that. Um, So they have that in their back pocket as well. And uh, so I think that the Colts are going to beat the Chiefs because the Colts play really well at home. And the Chargers will beat the Bengals. And then as for the NFC wild card, it will be San Francisco at Green Bay, which I think Green Bay is going to take that game. Sorry, Jim Harbaugh, but you, I don't know. I just, I think that Green Bay at home with Aaron Rodgers healthy, healthier, I think they can take that game. And the New Orleans Saints at the Philadelphia Eagles, 
I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to take the Eagles here. I know, but it all depends on how well can Drew Brees play outdoors. And I believe that there was one game, it was a while ago, I believe it was around 2008 or 2009, Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints visited Soldier Field, and they got absolutely smashed. Like, they got destroyed because Drew Brees didn't get settled in the pocket. Chicago's defense was amazing that year. Um, there was a lot of other things, but I mean, the main, I mean, one of the main things was that uh, Drew Brees just couldn't get settled outdoors. And that was just the main thing. And another team I think is going to be really dangerous, the Carolina Panthers. I know, but they, they have the two seed. But honestly, I love Cam Newton. He's a great quarterback. He is something else. I, like, it's it's just it's just so ridiculous that Rob Chudzinski got fired from Cleveland after one year. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I think there's tons of stories on NFL.com saying how he shouldn't have gotten fired and how he shouldn't have... Uh, and how the players actually respected him, and how the players are rooting for him to come back, but uh, I don't know. It's just I think I think that the, I think that organization in general is just so dysfunctional. They're gonna need to figure out what they what they're gonna do. So uh, write in the comment section down below what your opinions are on the coaching changes and who you think could come back and coach. Uh, head coach these teams who have fired their head coaches um what does this mean for uh what does this mean for uh, the nfl landscape like what do you think could happen to the browns next year what do you think could happen to the redskins next year write all that stuff in the comment section down below i'll try to respond the best as i can and also like the video and this has been mr best kept secret and i'll talk to you guys all later and i'll see you guys in my next video see you youtube